In a quaint village nestled among rolling hills, there lived a wise old monk named Master Koji. People from far and wide sought his counsel on matters of life and happiness. One day, a young traveller named Taro arrived in the village weary from his journey and troubled by the chaos of the world seeking guidance he approached. Master Koji's humble abode, Master Koji Taro said, I seek wisdom to improve my quality of life. I feel lost and overwhelmed by the struggles of everyday existence. Master Koji, with a serene smile, invited Taro to sit beside him. Our young one, he said, I shall impart to you ten habits that will bring clarity and peace to your heart. And so Master Koji began his tale, speaking in a gentle tone that echoed through the tranquil air of the village. Imagine Master Koji began that your mind is like a garden to nurture it. You must cultivate ten essential habits, much like tending to the soil and planting seeds. The first habit, he continued, is to embrace simplicity just as a garden thrives with minimal clutter, so too does the mind find peace when free from unnecessary complain plexities. Taro nodded, intrigued by the analogy. What's the second habit, Master Koji? Patience, the monk replied like a gardener waiting for seeds to sprout. Patience allows us to endure life's challenges with grace and equinity as they admired the vibrant blooms in the garden. Master Koji paused and closed his eyes briefly. Each flower here is a reminder of the importance of gratitude. He remarked by acknowledging and appreciating the blessings in our lives, we nurture our spirits and cultivate joy, sitting in silence. Master Koi invited Taro to focus on the sounds of nature around them. Mindfulness, he explained, is the practice of being fully present in the moment, like a gardener, carefully tending to each plant with mindful attention. Master Koji's gaze softened as he spoke of compassion, just as a gardener tends to delicate seedlings with care and kindness, so too must we nurture compassion within ourselves and extend it to others. Life storms may come young Taro, Master Koji said, but like a sturdy tree bending but not breaking in the wind, resilience allows us to weather adversity and emerge stronger than before. Gesturing toward Taro's weary expression, Master Koji gently reminded him of the importance of self-care just as a garden tends to their own needs to maintain their strength and vitality. Practicing self-care ensures we have the energy to tend to others and face life's challenges. Taro's brow furrowed as he spoke of past grievances. Master Koji placed a reassuring hand on his shoulder. Cultivating forgiveness, he explained, is like pulling out wheats to prevent them from choking the garden. It frees the heart and mind, allowing new growth to flourish, as Master Koji unveiled each habit. Taro listened intently, absorbing the wisdom like rain nourishing the earth from gratitude to mindfulness, from compassion to resilience. Each habit offered a new perspective on living a fulfilling life. Master Koji smiled warmly as he observed the villagers bustling about their daily lives. Connection, he remarked, is the thread that binds us all together much like pollinating insects facilitate growth and reproduction in a garden. Be true to yourself, young Taro master. Koji advised like a unique flower blooming in the garden. Embodying authenticity allows you to shine brightly and live a life that is genuine and fulfilling with the ten habits revealed. Master Koji concluded his tale, remember young Taro. He said just as a garden requires constant care and attention, so too does the mind cultivate these habits diligently, and you will find the quality of your life blossoming like the most beautiful flowers in spring taro. Thanked Master Koji, his heart lighter and his spirit lifted by the monk's teachings as he bid farewell to the village and embarked on his journey once more. He carried with him not just the tent habits, but a newfound sense of purpose and serenity 